What is up everybody? How is it going? Welcome back. Now today, let's dive into the patch 9.19.1. Let's take a little bit deeper look at what this patch has to offer, because yesterday was the day when this patch was released, at least on the EU server. And I believe on the RU server it was one day before that so two days ago but as i said let's take a little bit deeper look at what this patch has to offer uh, because i know how some of you really do not like to dive into the details what every single patch has to offer and uh, this is why i am here to make it a little bit more entertaining for you maybe for example, you can keep this video running while you are playing some World of Tanks yourself, or you can simply enjoy this uh, gameplay action on the background that I am going to add to this video. But uh, without further ado, let's jump right into the action and let's see what patch 9.19.1 has to offer. So, Wargaming is slowly introducing new nation into World of Tanks, and uh, this nation is, of course, Poland. A Poland nation included in the vehicle panel filters, so this is that vehicle search option or shorting system. A national crew with ranks and personal data is also added, uh, but at the moment only the male voiceover will be available. A Polish camouflage patterns, emblems and inscriptions, and also national premium consumable is in the game bread with uh, smullets or smullets. That means big fat, so bread with big fat is also available, but at the moment we do not have any Polish vehicles. So there is going to be first Polish tank, which is a tier 6 premium a medium tank, and I am not sure, do not quote me on that, but I believe they are going to add the tier 6 poodle in the middle of 9.19.1. Uh, because this is how they usually like to uh, release premium tanks. They do not want to release premium tanks together with the batch release. They would like to do it in the middle of the batches. So I believe Poodle is going to be added soon into the game because it was in the super test server for super testers to test out in the 9.19.1's super test server. But once again, I am not 100% sure. Maybe it is going to be added, maybe not. Let's move on. And our next topic is going to be new or upgraded training camp that is called boot camp from now on. Uh, so let's jump into the server and let's test it out live. So let's take a look at this new boot camp together. This is the first time I am going to do that as well. So let's press escape and let's enter this boot camp. You will not receive a reward for a... Okay, yes, I have, but it does not matter. I would like to know how to play World of Tanks. This is why I am here. So let's load in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, it takes a lot of time to log in. Please wait until a proper server is selected. Okay. Are you fucking kidding me? The queue is full. Please wait for your turn in the queue or skip the tutorial. There is a queue for the tutorial. What the fuck are you doing? I cannot take it anymore. I really cannot take it anymore. Skip tutorial that gets me back. Updating T garage and that and that is it ladies and gents uh, this is our new bootcamp slash training slash tutorial for new players awesome now I am ready to play this game uh, let me go into the premium shop let me pick premium lover because uh, I know how to play this game and let's jump into the matchmaking <sighs> what a fail Oh boys, boys, I am in. I am in the tutorial 
in the special tutorial server. Okay, this intro, yeah, it looks it looks really really badass, but I have seen that before as well uh, from the YouTube's. I believe this is some older intro. Okay, I shut up now. Hello. 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 Okay. Can you believe it? He hung up. Follow the tips to complete the mission. Roger that. Roger Deutscher. Turret and aiming controls. Oh shit, I moved without an order. Sorry. Okay, I have to move now. Vehicle controls. Nice. Let's try to ram stuff. Everything is working. Now? Hello? Oh shit, guys, 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 guys. Side scrape, side scrape, side scrape. Auto aim. Auto aim. Come on, come on, come on. Done. Good job, team. Good job. Let's keep it up. Let's keep it up. And do you know what I love? I love the fact that the tutorial vehicle is M4 Sherman with the bloody derp gun. Can you believe it? Uh, oh, actually, this is Jumbo, I believe. Oh, yes, yes, of course. This is the M4A3E2 AK Jumbo with the derp gun. Uh, Wargaming is trolling us. Beautiful. Boom. On the move, derp gun's accuracy. Oh my god, hitting straight into the middle. And done. Beautiful. Well, of course, I was fighting versus a lot weaker targets. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. Why did you hang up before, by the way? What is it? Bootcamp high caliber. Goes the highest damage in a tutorial battle. <laughs> that was hard. I have to... I have to admit here. Awesome. Okay. Now let's move on. Change new vehicle to receive change reward. Ah, this is pretty badass, actually. I have to say, everything looks so uh, really nice. So let's pick. I don't know. Let's pick this vehicle. Awesome. Okay. Inspect the vehicle. This seems to be the old boot camp training ground. Looks kind of the same. Now I am done looking around my tank and I can press battle. So let's do that. Please wait until a proper server is selected. Guys. Really? This is one thing I do not understand. Firing, turret traverse, and movement. W, A, S, T, firing, and turret traverse. Okay. And battle. Once again. I was actually looking if all the other guys are players as well, but it doesn't seem like it. So, yeah. No minimap, by the way. I'm pressing M, but still no minimap. Oh, hello. Where are all the other guys? That was style kill, by the way. I didn't even look towards that guy I just killed. Let's keep pushing forward together with our teammates. Enemy team has... How many tanks still alive? Six tanks still alive. Oh, shit. Let's move up. Ooh. Okay, right or that. Let's aim at the green marker. Well, this is useful. Okay, I did that. Time to move up. Enemy team has four tanks left. So, four more lessons, I guess. Or hopefully, a few more lessons. Oh, 
So what we can learn from that guy? Don't be an idiot. How not to be an idiot? Actually, yeah, they, they missed one opportunity. There should have been a text on the top of that FT. Do not try this at home. So let's see what they have. Ooh. Oh shit. Oh, SU-76I. Are you kidding me, Wargaming? Oh, oh boy, oh boy. Come on, come on, come on. Nice. Now this is helpful, once again. This is helpful. I am not able to penetrate its side. The only thing I'm able to penetrate is that pooper. And done. Um, this is helpful. I like it. I like it a lot. Nice. One more tank left. LTP. OP. 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 Okay, this guy is behind the cover. Boom. And done. Okay, GG boys. We did it. We did it. Four versus eight. And we were still able to get a victory. The bootcamp sniper getting some awesome rewards, improving a vehicle. Yes, let's do that. Continue. Some credits. So that means I actually am getting some experience, maybe. Reach your. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is for the testing. I did buy the engine. Now I can buy it as well. Yes. Okay, did I save it? Oh yes, Whew, guys, if you have this kind of bug, simply press escape. Uh, new mode is well tested on the super test server, I can see. It will be mounted automatically. Nice, continue. <laughs> uh, now, let's see, yep, mounted. And are we able to battle? I did mount it. Hmm. So it is mounted, everything is top notch. Well, seems like it parked out, because when I came back, this was flashing over here, it was still flashing, but nothing happens. And I am reading from the web page that there should be something about spotting, how to spot, how the visibility works and, and all that, but uh, seems like I am not able to find out how this spotting works in World of Tanks, because this bloody bootcamp is not working or it is still looking for proper server where I can learn about this game <sighs> whatever now sadly learning some more information about World of Tanks stops right here for me at least because it seems to be a little bit buggy maybe some of you have the same bug but um, I'm actually a little bit sad that I wasn't able to test it out uh, from the start to finish because what I have heard uh, from some of you guys uh, from the reddit posts as well uh, that people are actually enjoying this and uh, it is really helpful as they say in the article as well, that they are going to teach you how to detect enemies, how the stealth system works, and, and so on. Everything that I have missed over here. And the bootcamp is going to end, or your final test is going to be 15 versus 15 action. 15 bots versus 14 bots and you. And if you are going to complete every single task, you get 500 gold and 3 days of premium account. Uh, three days of uh, premium account time, which is really nice gift for new players, especially uh, if you already have completed the old training camp, you are not going to get anything. Sadly, you can simply freshen your memory about different things, about different uh, mechanics in World of Tanks. But I am going to try it again tomorrow. Maybe we'll see how this works. But uh, for now, I have to say this is our bootcamp. Moving on, and our next topic is changes to the SVG vehicle type. Uh, they added the option of inviting an SVG to the platoon once again, with a limitation of one SVG per platoon. Uh, before 9.19.1, as we all remember, after the artillery rework, artilleries were not able to platoon together with uh, anyone. 
like no RT platoons whatsoever. But now SVGs are able to platoon once again, but only one SVG per platoon. So let's say two light tanks and one SVG, or one heavy tank, one light tank and one SVG and so on. You get the point. Uh, they added convenient display of the allied SPG aiming area marker above objects and bridges. Awesome. From now on, all the damage done by your teammates to the stunned targets that you stunned counts towards mark of excellence as well, together with your damage done, with your spotting, with your tracking and all the rest of the standard things. So now stunning is also in the calculation when you are or when this system is calculating your mark of excellence points. They also changed the conditions for course metal, added the lower threshold of 2000 damage. And uh, from now on it is enough to cause damage exceeding 8 times the hit points of your vehicle to get this medal, uh, instead of 10 that it used to be. It used to be uh, cause at least 10 times uh, the amount of damage to the enemy vehicles than your hit points, or something like that. Uh, separate option for battle performance uh, patches and total damage log to stunned targets were added to the battle notification tab. Okay, a little bit better result screen. Uh, changed the camera settings in alternative aiming mode. Reduced camera sensitivity to minor irregularities. And uh, final, change, uh, final change to the SPGs. Increased the amount of earned experience and credits for causing damage to stunned enemy vehicles by 20%, so pretty huge boost actually for your credits and, uh, and earnings. Awesome. So these were changes to the SPGs. But moving on, next up let's talk about changes to the conditions of some of the personal missions. For example LT7, the SPG Hunter for Chapter 4, spot 3 enemy SPGs and cause damage, destroy at least 1 enemy SPG really good chains, I like it a lot. Uh, moving on, MT7, a surprise blow for all chapters. Cause damage to at least one enemy SPG, destroy at least one enemy SPG is the condition for the second tank, uh, cause damage to at least two enemy SPGs, destroy at least one enemy SPG for the 55A and for the, sorry, object 260, you have to cause damage to at least three enemy SPGs and you have to destroy at least one. Okay. Nice. Thumbs up once again. And next up we have a medium tank 8 a confrontation mission for all chapters. Destroy at least three enemy medium tanks. Okay, moving on. Medium tank 9, a worthy opponent for all chapters once again. Uh, cause at least 500 HP of damage to enemy heavy tanks. Destroy at least one enemy heavy tank. Uh, chapter 2, 1000 damage and destroy at least one enemy heavy tank. Chapter 3 is 1500 damage and destroy at least two enemy heavy tanks. And uh, chapter 4, cause at least 2000 damage to enemy heavy tanks and destroy at least two enemy heavy tanks. Okay, so they are making a lot of missions a lot better. Uh, not so matchmaking dependent anymore. I like it. Because this was the issue I said after this uh, new matchmaking and after the artillery rework and all that, uh, that you were not able to see the amount of tanks you needed to see for some of the missions. And uh, sometimes it was getting super frustrating how RNG dependent some of those missions were. But uh, let's move on and uh, the final mission that was changed is heavy tank number 6, renamed and fully changed. A two cause meal is the new name of this mission and changed for all chapters. So chapter number one, destroy a total of at least two heavy or medium tanks. So chapter two is destroy at least the two enemy heavy tanks or medium tanks of the same tier or higher. Okay. Uh, chapter 3, destroy at least the 3 heavy or medium tanks and chapter 4, yeah, as expected, destroy at least 4 enemy heavy or medium tanks. Okay, so, awesome, some changes to the missions. 
Let's move on. Changes to the technical characteristics of vehicles. Uh, Chinese tanks 121 and 113 uh, got uh, or received a little buff. Uh, gun depression buff. Uh, one to one's gun depression was buffed uh, from minus uh, 3.5 degrees to minus 5 degrees all around. And uh, 113 received uh, minus 2 degrees of gun depression. So min uh, from minus 5 degrees to minus 7 degrees of gun depression, but only on the sides uh, front in the front of t113 you are still going to have minus five degrees of gun depression but i believe uh, you can work around to get that minus seven degrees if needed uh, really really easily anyway so it really does not matter and uh, they also added a new researchable tier 10 chinese heavy tank wz111 model 5a into the chinese deck tree finally one researchable tier 10 new researchable uh, tier 10 heavy tank as well and uh, you are able to get into the model 5a through uh, tier 9 wz111 model uh, 14 so keep that in mind uh, that you are able to research uh, two different heavy tanks uh, with uh, your model 1.4 from now on. And I have made many 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 episodes about wz 1115 a already, so if you are interested, go check them out. Maybe I am going to leave one link into the, into the description as well, so check it out. Next up we have 13 new vehicles reworked into the HD quality. And we have some really interesting choices over here by Wargaming. Powered by Wargaming. So listen to this. SU-8 reworked into the HD quality. SU-26 M3 Light. M4 A3 E8 aka Easy 8 This is what I like. M36 Jackson. This is also pretty decent. AMX 13 F3 AM. AMX 105 AM MLE 47. AMX 105 AM MLE 50. Lorraine 39 L AM. Panzer Kampfwagen 4 Hydrostat. D1 Universal Carrier 2 pounder. And Churchill Gun Carrier. So, as I said, interesting choices. Yeah, now in HD. Go enjoy. And for the end of the episode, some other changes as well. For example, they changed the mechanics of armor penetration indicator uh, that you were able to see from the bootcamp footage. Uh, they also tuned the matchmaking once again a little bit. Uh, the mismatch in the number of light tanks, uh, tank destroyers, SPGs and platoons within each particular tier will be decreased. So this is that situation when, uh, let's say, our team had tier 10 light tank and to compensate us having tier 10 light tank, enemy team got tier 8 light tank. Tank. But from now on, if we have tier 10 light tank, enemy team also has tier 10 light tank to balance everything out, as far as I understand at least. Uh, moving on, they completely re-recorded the Chinese voiceover with a new voice and required uh, dialect. Okay, a lot better because a lot of those new female crew voices, crew sounds were complete and utter garbage. They also updated the Soviet female voiceover, re-recorded some phrases and uh, the walkie-talkie effect uh, on the female voiceover was uh, tuned uh, once again. So it should be a lot more clearer and uh, better. Yeah, better. And visually reworked the ESC menu as you were able to see already. And I believe that is it. Uh, we have some other bug fixes over here and uh, here, but uh, if you would like to see the full list of changes, I am going to leave one link into the description. So it was like refining patch, uh, let's call it like that, with uh, one new tank. Let's not forget that. Uh, with one new tank, a new nation, Poodle most likely is going to be here soon as well. So yeah, I believe this patch refined 9.19 a little bit more. Now let's wait for the batch 9.20 and there is going to be yet another episode about batch 9.20 soon so stay tuned. I'm going to talk about uh, changes to the US tanks and maybe something else. We'll see. But you guys stay awesome, take care and bye.